I'm excited to get back on the field against a divisional opponent and uh, hopefully get a, get a W and get some momentum going here. So go ahead. How different is this Detroit team looking than the one you guys ended the season last year against? They've made quite a few few changes. Um, obviously, the receivers are, are gone. Um, they they do still have Hawkinson, who's an exceptional tight end, one of the best in the league, in my opinion. Um, DeAndre Swift was there, but, but he's really come on. He's played a lot better, um, and, and he's explosive out of the backfield. Um, I know they're shifting around the offensive line a little bit right now with injuries, so we have to kind of monitor how who's going to play where. Um, and obviously, not having Stafford is, is, is weird after going against him for so many years. Um, Goff is a, is a big guy that, uh, that's very accurate, has a big arm. And so uh, they've made some changes, but they're, they're, all, they're going to be a good challenge for us. Goff look like the same guy who was in, in L.A. Or what do you see? I, I I see a lot of similarities. The big arm, um, he'll he'll move around in the pocket a little bit to throw. Um, he's he's a big body in there. He's not afraid to stand in there in the pocket and take a shot. So uh, I think there's similarities. I think you know the offenses are are, are a little different than than what he ran with with McVeigh than he's doing with Anthony Lynn. But there are some similarities. Yes. What has this been like for um, Anthony Barr, just all that he's kind of been through to finally have a chance to get back on the field? Yeah, I know he's he's gone through the ups and downs mentally of, of uh, am I ready, am I not, and all these things. But I do think that uh, he's excited about the opportunity to get back on the field. And it's, it's been a long time since second game last year. And... Um, I, I think he's in a good place mentally. He's he's doing a great job studying and and it, even these last four weeks, he's done a great job helping Blake and and Nick get prepared for the games. And now he can get out there and and and, and do what he does as, as be a good football player. When you guys say that uh, offenses have to account for him, like where does that show up, or, or kind of what does that mean? Well. well I don't think it's any surprise that we use him as a blitzer often, and they have to know where he is. Otherwise, if he gets matched up on a running back, we like that matchup. Um, I, I would say so th their protection schemes usually have to account for Anthony in, in the uh, in the in the game and they, they have to count for him in the passing game because he's, he's long and he's he's got uh, long arms and he can get into into throwing windows so I think think all those things uh, play into account there played in so long do you just you kind of go into this assuming we're gonna have to play him a little bit and see how it goes or do you go in saying full go well, so right now, I, I'm saying if, if he can play, he can play. And uh, obviously, I'm going to monitor him during the game. And you know, if we have a 15-play drive or something and, and he's winded, I have no problem subbing Nick, Nick in there. Nick's done a great job in the sub. And he'll, he'll do a great job in the base for us. Um, so you know, I think it's kind of a wait-and-see thing. But uh, you know, I'm planning on playing him like normal right now. Adam, when you have a guy like him that basically he said, I don't want to be a liability to the guys out there. You know, I think I need to hold off one more game. Does he need to just get in there and kind of get back into the flow if he feels he's healthy? I mean, where is that balance for you for him to get over that that hump? Yeah, I think he started to get over that hump in practice. Uh, he, he he's taking a lot of reps now, and I think he's getting comfortable getting his sea legs back, as I, as I would say. Um, you know, it, he'll he'll be nervous the first game, just like like I'm nervous for every game. So uh, I, I think I think he'll be fine. Um, he, he's he's a pro. He's done this a lot a lot of games. So I, I think he'll he'll know uh, exactly where he's at. Adam, with the different um, the two running backs that the Lions have, I guess what different challenges do they present for defense? Yeah, it's a good one-two punch. Um, I think uh, Williams is more of a downhill runner. Um, he's more physical. Um, not saying that Swift won't stick his nose in there, but uh, I think Swift likes to get out on the perimeter. He's a, he's a really good receiver out of the backfield. We were just going over the red zone right now, and uh, he got a lot. He's got a lot of targets in the red zone. Runs a lot of different routes in the red zone. So uh, you, we have to be mindful who's in the game, especially in the passing game um, of what they do. Um, but they, that's it's a it's a good good combination of backs. Adam, how's your depth at cornerback uh, considering the COVID and all that's going on with Breland? Yeah, we're, we're sort, sorting that out. Um, I think, you know, um, obviously we'll, we'll probably have to bring somebody up from practice squad if those guys can't get back. Um, I, I'm confident in, in Perry and those guys that, or Chris Boyd to step in there. Um, 
So w w that's something that's kind of ongoing, whether they're going to be back or not for this game. That we're, we're unsure of right now. It's just the way it is. Is depth and durability something you continually, I mean, every position in NFL, but it seems like cornerback especially is always, you know, there's always, yeah. always reaching for bodies somewhere. Yeah, it always seems like those guys get banged up uh, pretty quickly. You know, it's, you know, they play, uh, a lot of plays where they run a lot and you always have nicks and bumps whether it be hamstrings or or ankles or things like that so and and right now really there's not a a lot of a lot of it, around the NFL, there's not a lot of depth at that position. So, um, you know, we got to keep training our young guys to be ready. Um, you know, I I told Chaz Frott today. I said you never know when your opportunity is going to come. So you have to prepare like you're you're going to get call get a call on Sunday that you're going to be playing. Able to determine what makes Peterson different because he plays 100% of the snaps. He traditionally is a durable guy. Yeah, he has been. Um, you know, there, there's just certain guys that um, knock on wood that um, stay healthy. All stay healthy most of the time. They, you know, him and Terrence Newman comes to mind. They they just take care, great care of their bodies. Um, they do all this extra work off the field that um, you know some of the young guys probably don't know right now. But Patrick being through 11 seasons or whatever it's been, he knows how he has to take care of his body and how he has to take care of himself during the week so that he can be be available on Sundays. What do you like about the practice squad corners that you've managed to work? I, I think they both are competitive and smart guys. Um, you know, we've we've worked Perry a little bit at nickel, and he he's done a good job picking it up. So, um, you know, I, I've I've seen some flashes on them. You know, obviously they're they're going on on cards right now, so it's it's wait and see with that. But um, uh, Carl's done a great job coaching those guys up. And I think uh, if they if they have to go in the game, I think we'll, we'll be fine and we'll have a plan to help them. What have you liked from uh, Blake Lynch's game? I, I recall you said uh, early in training camp, like the, the train is leaving for the backup guys. But it seems like that he stepped into that role pretty well. He has. Um, he was... He was a priority free agent for me last year because of his athleticism and can run. And he played down, covered down in space a lot at Baylor. And so we had to uh, kind of train him to be a linebacker in the box. And he, you know, it was kind of a slow moving process, like you said. But, you know, over the last four games, I think the lights kind of come on. Um, I think Anthony's helped him a lot in that way. Uh, and he really had his best game against Cleveland. Um, he was he was playing more physical. He got off some blocks and made some plays. Um, he's a he's a really bright kid. He works he works his tail off. And uh, you know I've always seen some potential in him. I just want to get it, wanted to see it on the, on the tape. And and I think especially the last two weeks, I think he's he's kind of found his way a little bit.